In this video, we're going to share to you guys which is better, a franchise business or your own business. Coming up. Hi guys, Jan here from The Present. So welcome back to our channel. And so today we have a very special question. It's coming from Jason Andrin. Jason Andrin, the question goes like this. Unsa ang nindot na... Unsa yung nindot? Unsa ang nindot? Franchises or owned business? So it's like, in English, it's like, which is better? You have a good, you, you go into franchise business or you start your own company? Well, the answer to that is for me, it has its own pros and cons, right? Number one, if you're going to, let's talk about franchise business first so that we can segmentize our mindset. So let's talk about franchise business. The first thing that we have to understand about that is that you have a system that you have to follow because it's a franchise business, right? That's the reason why the thing that you're investing in a franchise business is the system, okay? The system of the company. So this is how you should cook the chicken. This is how you should cook the shawmai. This is how you should cook the rice. This is how the workflow should be. This is how blah, 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 blah. So it's the system. Another thing that you're buying is the brand. So when you are investing, right, when you want to have a business which is a franchise business, you are technically investing in a brand because it's already known or, or it has a name in the market. You don't have to find a way to think about, okay, how am I going to market this? How am I, how am I going to position this brand? Because it already has a position in the marketplace. That's the franchise business. Another thing is that one pros about it is that you don't have to create a system anymore because it already has a system. All you have to do is follow it, all right? The huge disadvantage of a franchise business is that it has a huge capitalization. Well, it depends on what kind of business. If it's a food cart, then it's quite small. But if it's like a restaurant, like a fast food chain, it may be Jollibee, it may be KFC, it may be McDonald's and things like that, it's going to cost you a lot of money, all right? So if you don't have the capitalization, then you can't start a franchise business. That's it, that's it. And here's the truth. Even if you bought the system, even if you have a franchise business so that the name is already there, you don't have to position the brand to the market, it doesn't automatically mean it's a guaranteed success, right? It's not automatically mean that way because we also have, uh, there are some people who franchise like McDonald's and Jollibee and they didn't work out. Why? Because, well, the market is not there. They position it in a different way. And um, company owned and franchise business, they, even if they follow a system, but you can feel the different culture, right? Because the labor force, like how are you going to pay the salaries of those people is different. It's not, um, it's not the same because the system that you're paying for is actually the, the business system. It's not the labor. You're getting this? So that's that in terms of franchise. On the other hand, if you're going to start your own business, the good thing about it is you have more control. So you have, you know, the marketing, you can, you can do more sales. You can create your accounting system and you can also create your operation system. So those are the four basic imperative things that any business should have. It may be a small, it may be medium, it may be a big business, it's an imperative thing. Now, when it comes to a business, it's more, I would say, hard work because you have to find a way, in terms of marketing, you have to find a way to position your brand to the market because you have to let them know that you exist. Unlike a franchise business, it already has a name. But for your business, you're starting it out, most people don't understand or most people don't even know what your business is about. So you have to find a way to market it. The good thing is there's social media right now. So you can market your business with a very minimal cost, right? You have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have search engine like YouTube, which is why you're watching this video. This is one of our marketing tools, right? By giving you valuable information about the things that you need, and then that's why you watch, you're watch. you watching this video, things like that. Um, when it comes to sales, well, you also have to find ways to increase your sales because the sales, no, the revenue is what you're going to use 
so that you can pay off your operational expenses, which brings us to the operations. So operations, you, this is one of the, the, the tedious part, right? Because all of it, your marketing, your sales, and your accounting, the, the middle part is the operations. The operations give the service or the product to what the, what the salesperson is promising the customer. At the same time for the accounting, it's like the invoice system, it's going to go through that, right? So it's very important for you to understand these things about operations. And then accounting, you also have to know your finances, how much money is going in, how much money is going out. So overall, from what I said, it is easy, it is way harder to start a business, especially if you're not the type of person who's passionate about a business. And if you're also the type of person who doesn't have any experience in managing a business before, right? So and again, it's, it, it's going to cost you money as well because you have to spend for it, right? So that's the thing that you have to consider. So nothing is really better. It depends on what you want to be. It depends on who you are. It depends on your self-awareness. If you're going to ask me, when we started the present, this business, it's all about this. We thought about marketing, we thought about the sales process, we thought about operations. This, this is one of our operations, like how we shoot, and then what you're seeing on a video, that's the marketing part. And then we also have to consider the finances and all of it. So it's fun, we like it better this way because we have more control. Unlike a franchise business, we have to adjust to the system that's already in place. So if you don't like the system, you're just doing it for the money, so this is better for you so at the end of the day it all boils down to your self-awareness what do you want to do like is it do you prefer to run your own business and find a way to say okay this is my success story this is how we did it and this is it this is the result it's not like well i invested money over here and it already has a brand and so that's it so when a time comes is it better to have both? Like you have your own business and you have a franchise business? Well, yeah, definitely, because you have a diversified income, right? Coming from two businesses. But if you're talking about which is, what should you start or which is better for you? Again, it all, it all depends on you. For me, if you're going to ask me that question, I would go with the business side because you have more control and it pushes you to think, it pushes you to move, it pushes you to find ways to make it happen. I like this, the marketing, the branding, the system, the accounting is already set. So you just have to find ways to make it float. Get it? Get, get it? So yeah, okay? So, question of the day. Let us help Jason, what are your thoughts about it? If you're watching this video, what are your thoughts about it? Like, which is better? Franchise business or an own business? So let us know in the comment section and see you on the next video.